This could use some improving. Live pictures from our Southfield Sky Cam. Conditions not much better there. So what is in the smoke making it so dangerous? Experts say it's a combination of factors and the risks aren't limited to just our lungs. When wildfires occur, they put a lot of pollution into the air. That includes water vapor, harmful gases and particles, says Dr. Melon Han, chief of pulmonology at U of M Health. And the thing we really worry about, though, from a health perspective are uh, the particle pollution. So those are really small uh, bits of, of dust with other sort of nasty chemicals that get into the air. We breathe them in and they can cause damage to our lungs and cardiovascular systems. What's in those particles depends on what what's burning and where they're traveling from. But this graphic shows why these particles are so dangerous. On the bottom is a grain of sand. In the middle, a human hair. The blue circle is a piece of dust. Four of the fine particles in the smoke can fit across a single piece of dust. The smaller the particles, the easier they are to breathe in. Those particles can then travel deep into the lungs and can even enter the bloodstream. These small particles actually get into the vascular system and can actually trigger heart attacks and strokes. To reduce the risk, stay indoors as much as possible when the air quality is bad. But if you can't and you absolutely have to go outside, uh, trying not to exercise, uh, keeping your activity to uh, early mornings and late evenings can also help. And then finally, uh, some patients may choose to wear a mask, but to really filter out those small particles, you'll need an N95 or an N95 style mask. And experts say most wildfires put hundreds of chemicals into the air and that particle pollution can trigger emergency room visits and even deaths up to thousands of miles away from the actual fire. If you ask uh, any longtime Metro Detroiter, they'll tell you they can't remember seeing anything like this.